Hi everyone! In this lesson, we're going to take a closer look at some of the additional settings and options that are available in the newest version of the ProShow web app. When you log into the app, you'll always see this page first. This is where you'll go to make a new show and access all the shows you've already made with the app. When browsing the shows list, it's worth noting that the most recently edited show will always appear at the top of your list on your iPhone or in the first position here when using an iPad. To select a different show, just swipe up or down through your list as needed. Now beneath the poster image for each show, you'll see the show name, as well as this status indicator that will let you know if a show has not been built or if a show has been changed and needs to be rebuilt. Tapping this text notice will take you to the show screen where you can edit or build the show. To return to the home screen, tap here. If your show has already been built, you'll see this download icon. Tapping this icon will open up the video options. From here, you can create and save different versions of your show. Tapping Done takes you back to the app home screen. Now at the top of each page, you'll see this additional options icon. Depending on which page you're viewing, slightly different options will be available from the sidebar that slides open. From the home screen, tapping the options icon shows you some basic account information and provides help and about the app links. Tapping your shows will take you back to the home screen. Now from the home screen, you can view, edit, or share a show by tapping on the poster image. This takes you to the watch screen for the show. Now, depending on whether or not your show has been built, you'll see slightly different options on the watch screen. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. On the left is the watch screen for a show that has not been built. Notice that the app has this big build video icon over the poster image, and the only option at the bottom of the screen is edit show. When we tap the additional options icon, we'll see some basic show information. But you'll notice once again that the app is basically saying, let's build this video or let's edit this show. Now, over on the right is the watch page for a show that has already been created. The most obvious difference is that we can tap the play icon on the poster image and start watching the show. Now, at the bottom, we also have some options to make changes to the show or share the show to social media, or save the show to your camera roll. Now this time, when we open the additional options sidebar, we'll see show information, as well as the ability to share the show and create and save different versions of the show. There are also two new options, Remix and Loop. The Remix option will take all of your content and then rebuild your show using a different combination of effects from your selected theme. You also have the option to toggle on the loop feature. This will make your show continuously loop during playback. Now keep in mind that videos shared on social media or downloaded to your device will not loop. Looping only applies when you are watching a show from within the app. That's it for this lesson. Be sure to check out our other ProShow web app videos and don't forget to visit our blog and check out our YouTube channel for even more helpful tips.